Hey everybody, Brian McWilliams here, of course, host of Electric Liberty Land. Yes, by far your favorite show on the Lions of Liberty podcast. Now, I do a show called Do Nothing Man, which is a libertarian superhero who believes that by doing nothing, you achieve far more than the busybodies who do something. We all know who I'm talking about. But typically, this show is only for our members of the Pride, which you can join at patreon.com forward slash Lions of Liberty. However, now that we've developed a backlog and a catalog of episodes, we've decided to start releasing one a month to you, our regular listening public. However, they are not going to be the newest episodes, and they are not going to be uncensored. Yes, we've decided to bleep out all the curses and all the good stuff so that they're kid-friendly. And uh, hey, one more reason for you to join the Pride. So guys, enjoy Do Nothing Man And uh, make sure to join the Pride to get all the latest episodes. See you there. Welcome to the adventures of Do Nothing Man in Logic Lad. Today's episode, The Minimum Ranger. We find our heroes, Do Nothing Man and Sidekick Logic Lad, once again hard at nothing in the nothing lair. Do Nothing Man is bent over, idly staring at his stocked liquor cabinet. Got your bourbon, Logic Lad. Got your bourbon. I've always been partial to tequila, personally. Don't bring that garbage into my life. This liquor cabinet doesn't have a government-mandated diversity quota. Tequila gives me the neck spasms. Plus, if I'm mixing something with these muscle relaxers, I don't need spasms right before I do it, chum. Look, I, I don't want to tell you how to live, DNM, but mixing pills and booze is a bad... Then don't! Am I hurting you in any way? Doesn't look like it from here. Hmm? No. Then it's none of your business what I put in my body. You have a point there, DNM. The phone rings with the distinctive sound of the do-nothing phone. Which, of course, is a regular ringtone. It's the do-nothing phone! How? How is it the do-nothing phone? That is an unlisted number now. After dealing with that coon man idiot last week, I intentionally took it off the listing. Logic Lad sheepishly pulls his own phone out of his spandex unitard. It's ringing. Logic Lad, did you forward my phone number to your phone? I had to, DNM, in case of emergency. Do- Hello, this is Logic Lad in the Do Nothing layer. How can I help you? Okay. Do Nothing Man, it's the mayor. Oh, do you think? Do you think it's the mayor? Who was the only one who would call that number? I guess I'm the Logic Lad now. Hmm? Hmm? Looks like you're out of a job. Do Nothing Man, it's me, Mayor Schmageggy again. I've got great news. All of our problems are solved. The city council and I have come up with a perfect plan to cure the economy, poverty, and income equality. Meet me for dinner tonight at Carl's Wendy King, and I'll tell you all about it. I'll see you at six. Bring Logic Lad. Do Nothing Man takes a long, hard look at Logic Lad, who still holds up the phone. Not a, not a, not a fan, huh? Oh, Logic Lad, if that wasn't your personal <laughs> property, I'd take that phone, jam it in a dolphin's blowhole, and send it to the bottom of the sea with pictures of your <laughs> mother on it. It could still be important. Nothing is that important. Yet, my nothing dar is pinging like crazy. Some busybody is sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. In the free market. Like a dog sniffing another dog. Yeah, but DNM, dogs are supposed to do that. Are you metaphor lad now? Anytime a politician thinks they have done something to cure society's ills, you know it leads to nefarious consequences. Oh boy, does this mean we're gonna go? Uh... After I finish my scotch... And my muscle relaxers. You're driving. Do the Do Nothing Mobile! After my drink! Do Nothing Man slowly drinks his cocktail, savoring every sip 
until finally our heroes uncoil into action. The do-nothing mobile roars down the freeway before pulling into a neighborhood rife with layabouts, homeless and out-of-work teenagers. Ye God's logic, lad. What is there, a rave tonight? Some homeless teen sex orgy? I'll drop a pin in the Apple Map location so we can come back here after dinner tonight. I don't think that's what it is, DNM. I think this is all the people who can't get a job. So they just end up loitering around with no place to go, no money to f*** each other at the movies, and no homes to sleep in. Strange. Considering the mayor said he had this all solved. Our heroes pull into the parking lot of the Carl's Wendy King, first getting caught in the drive through lane for about ten minutes before parking, much to do nothing man's chagrin. As they enter the restaurant, they're greeted with a jarring surprise. Everyone working in Carl's Wendy King is a robot. They approach the mayor's table, at which a massive square computer sits covered in blinking lights. Stay calm and act normal, logic lad. Robots are like cats. They won't hurt you unless you pet them on the belly, or unless they feel like it. Come to think of it, cats are complete... Mayor, great to see you. Do nothing, man. Logic lad, it's me, Mayor Schmageggy. Every time, huh? Welcome, sit, sit. Dinner's on me, so order whatever you like. Just order through this digital pad here at the table. Wow, this certainly is convenient. Most definitely. I knew this was coming, Logic lad, but something must have sped up the adoption. Boop beep. <laughs> Look at me, speaking robot already. I'd like both of you to meet my new best friend and head of the city council, Mini Wager. Nice to meet you, do nothing man, and name error. How do you like your burgers? While its manners are pleasant enough, the robot exudes a heavy menace. Do nothing man senses this and looks around. The robots have all stopped working and have turned to look at our heroes. Yeah, it's nice to meet you as well, Minnie. Can I take it you're a part of the mayor's new plans? I am the architect. I am the nexus. Yes, Minnie came out of nowhere, won the last election. By the way, did you cast your vote for yours truly? I don't vote. No matter, I won! Many came in with fresh new ideas like raising our city's minimum wage to $15 an hour. This way we make sure everyone can have a living wage. Everyone can afford rent and make a fine home for themselves. A living wage? How can you know what a living wage is when people live differently, have different lifestyles, different preferences? Not yet, Logic Lad. Mayor... Didn't you see the homeless on the streets on your way here? The teens and low-skilled labor force who've been replaced? You phrased them out of the market. And now all that's left are cold, heartless, incredibly efficient, and dependable machines that never have to be trained and have a far greater return on capital investment. All I see is prosperity! More money for people means more economic wealth for everyone! With no downside! The mayor sees what I want him to see. His mind has become minimum. However, your mind will become hamburgers. For I am not mini wager, but the anti-free market villain known as the minimum wager. Here to replace all human workers with efficient robot workers. Mini Wager transforms. Tesla coils explode out of the top of its box as side panels open, revealing arms wielding hammers, spatulas, cheese graters, and welding torches. The restaurant's robot workers swarm do nothing, man and logic lad, pinning them to the booth. The minimum Rager draws closer. Its torch inches from Do Nothing Man's face. It is time for you to exit the marketplace of ideas. Do Nothing Man and name error. Ugh, damn it, I'm going to be killed by something that doesn't even know my name. It's like being murdered by a prostitute. 
I know logic led, uh, which of course should be totally legal. But that's besides the point. Mayor, listen to me. Focus your mind for just one minute. The mayor's eyes gain some semblance of thought. He looks at do-nothing man who uses his powers to create a bubble of alternate reality from the nothing zone, where no government regulations have been passed. It's just like the ghosts in Charles Dickens, you know, showing what could have been. Within this nothing zone, the robots holding our heroes suddenly disappear, replaced by the same drug-addled teens and homeless that roamed the streets earlier. They let go of do-nothing man and logic lad, confused. I'm working! I have a job! I can start my work experience here, building a resume and a history of responsibility at this entry-level position. Then I can move on to something bigger that I'd like to make into a career. Yeah, and I can work here and gain experience and move into a higher-paying position as manager. I can already feel financial stability and an apartment coming into my reality. Thank you, Do-Nothing Man. Oh my god, I've been such a fool. Do-Nothing Man, Logic Lad, this is Mayor Schmageggy saying what a f*** I am. By changing the market rate of pay, I've doomed this city to massive unemployment and spiraling price increases from the ripple effect of low-skilled labor being vastly overpaid. Never again. Not so fast, do-nothing do-gooders. This reality will never occur if you're all dead. As the rager swings and swipes at everyone around it, Suddenly, the ceiling tiles collapse on top of it, crushing the lightweight shell housing its motherboard. Water from a broken pipe splashes down, shorting its circuits. No! Johnny Five is alive! <laughs> no matter how efficient you may be at replacing us, machine, you still need basic human maintenance. Not just for you, but for the pipes and infrastructure that make this building go. Silly robot, may you rest in peace until someone turns you into a sex bot. Let's go home, Logic Lad. I've got some scotch and pills waiting for me. Do nothing, man! A stay! Make sure to tune in next time for more tales from our do-nothing do-gooders. Do nothing, man! And Logic Lad. in a chair and it's not cause he don't care he just knows it's better off without him it might be cool indeed if he had the help we all need but he don't and it ain't worth a robin from Peter to help all through Mary you know even though he's never even met them so how the hell should he know everything he needs to know to prevent Do nothing, man. Do nothing, man. He does his best when put to the test. His best to stay out of your way. Jump at the scream of everyone trying to enlist him. The thing is, he knows how much he don't know and is not into unattended outcomes. He's a do nothing man. Do nothing man. He does his best when put to the test. His best.
This episode of Do Nothing Man was written by Brian McWilliams, voices by Brian McWilliams, and The Ballad of Do Nothing Man is by Nick Bacone of Sounds Like Liberty.